Tonkles! Welcome back to the- Ah, oh, I forgot- I forgot my light. Still there. What? There we go. Tonkles! Welcome back to the Boo Crew for month number six. I'm glad you enjoy the dance. Shit, one deer's gonna star too. That means he can resell whenever he wants. Uh, Ryan, Dragon, Wandia, Conkles, Jared, how are you guys doing today? Uh, Bombchu Panda, hopefully the buffering has gone, um, and you're here to join us. But, uh, but yeah, we're continuing Chair 2. Um, it's probably not gonna be a super, um, super long one today, but we'll see. Also, just give me one sec. <laughs> and, uh, and behind me, I've got um, I've got Birdie Man watching Ghostbusters. So maybe like every now and then there might be a bit of loud. We'll see. It's taunting you. Well, Conkles has already done it. So I mean, you know. Actually, I'm pretty sure after the Boo Crew shoutout, it should show the dance again because it does the dance of the latest sub. Yeah, there it is. So that's good. Hey, Electric Tunes, how are you, man? Okay, so um. Since the last time we played this, we are now in the black and white area. Um, and so, basically the black spikes are fine, the white spikes kill you, and it's gonna be our goal to hit switches to invert the colors. That's the, uh, that's the main theme of this. So, I'm just gonna have to take a bit to learn what the fuck to- Oh, I just realized there's a button there. Can't go that way though. Got it. I'm smart. Oof. There's a moving button. Also, we've reverted back to version 1 um, to get rid of auto fire, because what was happening is uh, sometimes just from stepping it would shoot two bullets, which would toggle the button on and off, which is no good. So uh, I'm not dealing with that shit. Okay, so, bam, we in there. How is everyone today? Um, I can't, did I stream yesterday? No, yesterday was my day off. See, it feels so weird, like, I feel like I just had a day off, um, the last time I streamed, but I don't fucking know. Anyway, let's continue. I'm going to try and get my, uh, my thoughts together, and also I'm going to try and not fuck up these puzzles. Holy shit, that was lucky. Uh, so what are we doing here? I guess I can go all the way up to the top. So that's good. And then I can jump down into there. And then I can go to here. And then, there, oh, then there's some shit here. Oh, there's block there. Okay. That complicates things. God damn it. Jumping and shooting. Got it. Okay. Got it. Alright, easy peasy. Whew. That was some scary shit. Um. <laughs> So yeah, expect the puzzles to get, you know, like that, but harder. Can I shoot from here? I can't. I have to jump shoot. Uh, alright, very well. Oh! Good. Good. Where's my button? Oh, it's up there. Okay. So we're gonna have to jump out. Um... Jump out to the left, wait, jump out to the left, shoot the button. Oh, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Hey, CC, how's it going, man? Uh... Oh, I see. Hang on. I see. I see what I can do. It's misleading, but... Ooh, I think I killed myself. Yep. <laughs> there was nothing I could do. I got too close to the spike. I did it again, didn't I? Yep. Really dark? It's not too bad. 
do. Like, I think I'm on the third screen now. Ah, that works. Never mind, that doesn't work. Okay, so I can do it at the peak of this jump. Cool, good to know. There it goes. When I shoot that... Onto there. And what do I do from here? Once I get onto here... Oh, I see, I see. But... Mm. Okay. This is gonna get wonky. Oh, I got it! Well! <laughs> I can't believe I did that first try. Okay. So now... So many six months, and only one of them has done the alert so far. Hmm. Damn. I moved too soon. That part's gonna be tricky. Okay, let's do it again. I mean, you know how these go. Dude, why, why is my shoot button not working now? That's like the opposite of what I want. Where was my... Hmm. That, that's weird, one dear. You saw the message, but you didn't see Conkle's alert. Am I pressing the button when I do this, or am I just fucking it up constantly? Because I feel like I'm pressing it, but apparently not. Okay. Yeah, I know, you saw the chat message, but did you see Conkle's alert after? I forgot to do the thing. Damn it, dude. Hey, Tiny, how are you doing? So shoot that. Oh my god. Wait, so none of you saw the alert? The two times the dance happened. Dang. Conkle saw it. So I guess that that matters. Uh, oh my god, I've got to stop dying to that. Wait, you saw the dance? Dude, what? Come on. Oh, it's because the alert was before the shout out. Loyalty swag win? I don't know. Like, I literally don't know. I, I've been really shit about it. Like, day-to-day -day life is kind of a mess. Well, it's not a mess. It's just unorganized at the moment. And like, I don't know, you go from doing a full-time job to then trying to manage your stream. And it's like... It's like, fuck. I now also have to try and find time between that to go to the post office. Buy some envelopes. Collect everyone's personal details. It's messy. So I just put it up because I'm a dumb bitch. Oh, I see one dear. That's fair. That's fair. But yeah, I, I left... I put that in chat before the alert went off. That's why I was confused when you said you didn't see the alert because it was after the chat message. Dude! This is actually really hard to do, by the way. <laughs> like, for some reason, this drop is just annoying. Oh, okay, I get it. You saw it in the, um, 
in the on-screen chat. Yeah, CC, you were like one of the last people to get it. Like, I've got like maybe five or six people that I have to like sort out. And I've got like a list of them all, I just haven't done it because I'm so stupid. Um, but yeah, there's no, there's no special stuff to do when like sending stuff from Australia. Like literally, I put it in an envelope and I send it. Like I've sent stuff around the world plenty of times, it's not easy. I mean it's not hard, I should say. <laughs> it's just annoying having to like, you know, fucking buy all the stuff, write everyone's details down, fill out the custom slips for each one. Oh, dude! Come on! Why? Alright, hang on, this is annoying. I don't know why I'm fucking this up. Dude, come on. Alright, you got you, you got done and distracted me now. I went from like doing screens to now playing horribly. I guess that's what you all want. Cool. You want a shirt of two years and a discount? I mean I don't run the shop, so I can't give you a discount. jump. Because I can't do a full jump off the first one, I don't think. Ugh. That's going to be annoying. Well, no, it's a red bubble shop. Uh, you've been there, I'm sure. What didn't I agree with a week or so back? I don't even remember that. Okay, seriously, landing on that ledge is so shit because when when I turn around, the back part of my chair's hitbox is what's killing me like immediately. And then if I eventually get past that, I'm dying to the next fucking jump because I'm jumping too high. And then if I get past that, I have to do the stupid drop shot. Oops. And then if I get past that, I have to do like some stupid jump stall. It's so annoying. Like every jump on this screen is bad. For me anyway. Like that's instant death. As soon as I land there, I know it's instant death. <laughs> Good. Fine. <laughs> it's not important? Okay. Why would you bring it up then? Oh my god. Alright, jacket's coming off. This is annoying. <laughs> I need to focus. Uh. Heck my freak, dude. Why is that shot sometimes not going? Thank you. Fuck you. Damn it. Alright, 
<laughs> Alright, I can't do that. That's a shame. When I ride on the, uh, the edge like that, sometimes it eats my second jump because I hit right before I hit jump. But if I hit jump before I hit right, then sometimes I hit the spike. So like, you have to press both at the same time, but it doesn't quite work that way most of the time. And then if you eventually get it, then that. That kills you. Ugh. Just let me get past this shitty screen. Ledge consistency? I don't have any ledge consistency. That's my problem. Okay. Sorry, hang on. Okay. Hey, Trash Eye, how are you, man? How can I do this jump? Like, can I do a full jump through here? It doesn't feel like I can. Oh, good! Thanks! Thanks for the second jump! God, man. Hey, Otterfiend, how are you, dude? <laughs> ah, dead again. Dead again. Welcome to my stream today. It's gonna be a lot of disappointment. Oh my god, please. Please. Like, I can't even practice that jump at the bottom because of all this bullshit. Like, you have to hold left to get into that gap. But if you hold left too much, that happens. And if you hold it too soon, you align with the wall and you don't grab any ledge. Good luck with consistency. And if you eventually do... And uh, have fun getting your second jump eaten. <laughs> but if it doesn't get eaten, get fucked on the next jump, I guess. Oh my god. A lot of disappointment. Yeah. Pog champ, my favorite thing love. Your favorite? <laughs> Swedish cheese, welcome back to the food crew for month number six. Oh my god, I just realized he has a mustache. That's cute. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for your continued support, dude. Enjoy the star badge. And uh, can we get some hype and chat for Swedish cheese? At the moment, I'm pretty much just gonna be like taking the energy from subs, because that's all I've got. This is killing me at the moment. Thanks, CC. But if we could keep it to one line, that would be fantastic. The ledge isn't the intended strat. Well, I imagine the intended strat is going at the bottom, jumping and shooting, and then jumping up to the top on the second jump, right? Because if so, that's like, that's more movement. I don't like that. Wow, nobody stopped it. Disgusting. Good. Good. 
too. Yeah, I mean, we'll try this way, but it just feels... I, I feel like it'd be more awkward, honestly. Alright, I'll go with that. It's a bit weird to time, but I'll go with it. It does seem more consistent. God, I hate that jump. Trying to get like proper footing for this. Okay. It sure is auto fiend. Stone made this. I just realized when it was too late that that was my second jump. Dang. <sighs> Oops, let's try we go this way. There we are. That jump's actually really hard to do. <laughs> Good luck with the consistency, I guess. Oh my god. Oops. Wow. <laughs> thanks, Conkles. I don't know what you're trying to make, but thanks. We're good. So now this part... No matter how I do this, it's awkward. I actually really don't like this jump at all. Alright. Getting the timing of that drop while putting yourself in a position that will let you actually survive the drop is really frustrating. Thank you. 
Oh crap. Let's go again. Um do, do, do it again. Okay, awesome. Now I just have to do awkward platforming. I can do that, I think. So what I want to do first is shoot that. Good. Okay. Good. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Next screen, everybody. <laughs> Jesus. Why did I shoot the bottom one? Uh, I hope that explained why. Okay, I'm so happy to be past that screen, because goddamn. Oh, I don't like any of these jumps. These are all awkward and bad. <laughs> that didn't even trigger. Good. Oh, wow. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> okay. Fuck, man. Uh... Oh. Good. These are some tough jumps, dude. What the fuck? Good. Okay. Um. Where do I go? Oh, I guess from the white spikes down there, I can jump through there. Okay. That's awkward. This is an awkward screen. Good. I love those. Time to learn how to do this jump. Yuck. God, man. That's probably like the most rapid succession of buttons I've had to press in a long time. Holy crap. You like these jumps, Wondia? Is it because it's making me struggle? Thank you for the host. 
kind of the sly rating. <laughs> okay. So now I have to go back. Good. Oh, I went too far to the right. God damn. <laughs> That's so disappointing. That's a workout. to jail. I imagine that will come up a lot during the Crunchyroll Marathon. No? Oh. God. This is actually a proper workout. Like, you know when I say that um, a lot of stuff that I do doesn't really require that much effort. Uh, that's definitely true. Like, like Mario 64 and stuff like that. It's um, yeah, it's it's not that tiring. But doing those rapid steps over and over, god damn, that's tiring. Thanks, Melon, for screaming right at the right moment! Fucking asshole. It's like, hey, I need to concentrate for a second. Ah! Good. Melon, stop. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, alright, let's see. When I shoot this, black, white, and then when I shoot that, uh, that'll go white. So if that one goes white, yeah, so. Black. When I shoot the first one, the white one at the bottom goes black. When I shoot the second one, the white one at the bottom goes white. So I have to go left. Yeah, I have to go left just as I drop. Ugh. I'm gonna die here a bunch. Stop 
doing those jumps, God. Okay, well. Jesus, dude. Alright, I'm pretty satisfied with that, I'm not gonna lie. Oh god, it scrolls! Oh no! Lucky? Nah, no, fuck off, that was skill. That was so much skill. I totally wasn't freaking out. I totally didn't like, stop at the thought that maybe I'd have to be doing that again all night. Oh my god, this is so hard to look at. shift my weight over to the next direction. Wait, hang on. Oh wait, I can't do that. Dang. Oh my god. Why are we fighting about waifus? That's never been done before. Oh my god. Damn it! I need to know what's next. Oh my god, trying to do that jump. It's so hard. Melon, Melon, come on, dude. Amazingly, if you put a blanket over a bird at night, they go to sleep. It's pretty good. Let's focus, shall we? Hey, anime night, how are you, dude? I'm trying to remember, your name was Panza Knight before, right? In either case, I can't remember the last time you were here, dude. What's good? Dude, getting through this is so shitty. 
How much leg stamina do I have? Um, I don't know, the same amount as a teenage cashier. Oh yeah, that reminds me actually. Uh, this Saturday we're doing the 12 hour challenge. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with what that is, uh, the, ooh, damn it. <laughs> the 12 hour challenge is a, um, a self-imposed challenge that people do where uh, you learn a new speed game uh, and perform a run in the first 12 hours. Or within 12 hours, I should say. So uh, we're going to be learning a new speed game on Saturday. We're going to be routing, we're going to be attempting, and hopefully we're going to actually finish a run of it. So if you want a 12 hour stream, look at no further than my channel. Oh my god, now I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <sighs> ah, yeah, the dead screen is glitched. Also, this is version 1 of the game. Um, I had to roll back the version to get rid of the auto fire, because auto fire was fucking with my shit, so. Was I Conkles? I don't remember that. You're probably right though. I have faith in you. Dude, this stage sucks. It's so hard to read. Like, so hard for me to read. Dude, please. Can you just get over the thing so I can continue? I am in Breath of the Wild? Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm a speedrunner. You might have heard of me. The name's CC, but not as in credit card. As in count free. Oh my god, please, just get through. That one needle on the fucking left hand side is so annoying. Because it doesn't give me enough time uh, to turn right again while jumping. Because that's the thing, right? I have to do this as fast as I can to allow myself as much time as possible to do that. <sighs> but if I do it too early, I hit everything else. It's the worst. And it all just kind of goes blurry for me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Can I introduce myself to everyone? Sure, Conkles, go ahead. What do you mean, CC? You used Peking Smug. What am I supposed to expect? I thought you were memeing. But it is true, you do speedrun Breath of the Wild. And uh, you're probably a cool guy. I would know, probably. Uh, hey, Muggle. It's... It, it, yeah, it is. It's pretty frustrating. <laughs> Like, okay, admittedly, this part isn't as bad as, like, the other shit that we've just done, which I unfortunately can't go back and show you, but this part is very tame, it's just memory. Beforehand, it, like, required a lot of skill and precision, but at this point, I'm just trying to remember the order of everything, and I just have to time it right. How are you doing, though, man? 
Oh my god, please. Like, I've gotten up to the first jump memorized, and then after that I'm just kind of winging it. Dude, come on. Like, I'm trying to find visual cues, but everything is black and white. And also, I'm playing this on a fucking 40 inch, um... Uh, a 40 inch widescreen monitor. So like, everything... Sorry, not everything is in my is in my um, field of view. So like, I can't see actually what's directly below me. Just like, I can't really see what's on the left side of the screen. So when it starts scrolling, I get really confused. Please. Uh. Make the window smaller? Yeah, I could. But then it'll fuck up my display, won't it? Like, it'll fuck up my... Oh, damn. It'll fuck up my capture. Oh my god, please. Yeah, the dev made sure to make the music not annoying. <laughs> Which is good. That and, you know, the dude's a massive meme lord, so naturally, the music has to be super meme. <sighs> Oh yeah, Conkles, weren't you changing your username? Has like anything else developed with that? Dude, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, so once I go right, then it's left right, and then I don't know after that. Damn it, dude! It's so hard! Hey, dude, that's cool, Slime! You have a good one, man. Thank you for the host, and I hope you have a good night. I actually find it strange when... I, okay, I don't find it strange. I guess I find it surprising when people actually stay here for the entire duration of the stream. But I guess that's more of like what I think of myself than anything else, right? Oh my god. Please. Please. I see. Well, that's fair enough, Conkles. Uh, yeah, that counts, Kuro. That absolutely counts. Oh my god. In case you're wondering, I do have a visual cue for when to move now, but I'm still fucking it up. Oh my god. No, Conkle, don't do it. I know they asked. Don't do it. You too, CC. Don't give in to the lurkers. Don't do it. <laughs> That's a host by Dr. Dubious. I nearly tripped over my face. Dr. Dubious, thank you for the host. How are you doing, dude? Please! Oh, he's gone. Do 
Doing good. I'm glad to hear it, dude. Ah. This puts a lot of strain on my right shoulder. Because I'm pushing off the bar to push my legs onto the two arrows. And I have to hold the bar in place so that I can then quickly pull myself across to hit the jump button. That's actually what my arms do. They move my, my upper body faster so my legs don't have to. Stops my legs from getting tired. Conkles, what are you doing? <sighs> if anything, you should shout out Dr. Dubious. Do it. <laughs> um, I'm doing okay though. I, um, I'm a bit tired. I, I wasn't really feeling streaming, but I kind of forced it anyway. So, you know, here we are. But, uh, but yeah. Yeah, it now takes credits away as well, Anime Night, because everyone used it. Thanks, Compass. You're a, you're, a, you're certainly a mod. Hecky, Ryan, thank you for the host. You can't hear radio waves. You sure? Because Chat Ghost said you could. Weird. Dude, this is so annoying. No, you didn't cause it. Everyone caused it. Everyone's fault. Oh my god. And then what started happening is that people started telling new people that came in to use it. So then not only would it time them out, it would also take their, their newly discovered credits away. Oh my god. At least now I can see where to go. I'm making you want to play this game? You should, man. It's a good game. I hope that puts me in the middle. Oh my god, if you hold left for too long, like, okay, you move across, you move horizontally more than you move vertically. Why can't you share your six months? Are you on mobile? It sounds where? Oh, you only play bad fan games, I get you. I have 200 megabytes of leg stamina, you know it. How's it going, Slurper Slurp? And uh, how are you as well, Just Fiction? Damn it! <laughs> I thought because it went quiet it was going to be clutch. Actually, yeah, this game is big. I can't remember what it is. It's like... It is like 200 meg, right? Like 180 or something? Heck. Like the opening sand attack? I'm trying to remember it. Taney, don't do that, man. That, that's such a great thing to do. Like, someone you don't know, just saying the game they like is shit, and then just sparking a conflict straight off the bat. Why would you do that? There's no point to that. I can only remember the horizontal attacks from the Sands fight. I can't remember the vertical ones. 
Unless that's what you mean. Oh, rip. 201 meg, dang. Undertale is a good game, but like with any fandom, they ruin it. Like, any fandom for anything ruins everything. It's why anime sucks, it's why Undertale sucks. It's why the Round Earth sucks. I should do the Sans fight at some point. Like, I've got a save file that's right at the fight, and so all I have to do is just do the fight. But, I don't know why I haven't done it. Funky Pixie, thank you for that host and follow, dude. Much appreciated. I probably wouldn't do that Funky Pixie. Uh, I choose other games that I want to speedrun. Um, personally, Mario games. Or well, preferably, I should say. Damn it! Mario games are a lot easier than this. Um, it's why it's good to like ramp up my casual challenges with something a little more difficult. But uh, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll run a fan game of some sort and get it submitted to Fan Game Marathon or something. That might be nice. Have I played The End is Nigh? I have on controller, but not with dance pads yet. It looks a lot easier than this, I'll give you that much. Or I shouldn't say it looks, I've been playing it. So far, it is a lot easier than this. Unless you're going for 100%, they all say. But thankfully, I'm not going for 100%. Dude! Yeah! <laughs> How far did I get? Um, I'm still playing it, I just don't have time. Cause like, okay, the thing is, the only time I get to play video games when I'm not streaming is when I'm not streaming. So that's two days a week. And on some of those two days, sometimes I want to do something else, like watch a movie or play a different game. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's been like a couple of weeks since I played. And it only came out a couple of weeks ago, so, you know, that shows how dedicated I am to it, but, um, let's see, I went, I went through the top split, through the exodus and all of that stuff, uh, I got the head, and now I think I've gone through the bottom split and I'm up to the lava area, um, which I think gives you the body, and then I have to go through the middle area, uh, to get the heart, so, I don't know, I, I'd say I'm most of the way through the game. That is Koopsy. Everyone seems to know it except me. All I know is that it's from Homestar Runner. Please! But, uh, and Boo does have a new dance for six months. People seem to like it. But yeah, the one thing... Um, the, the, the one thing I have been doing with uh, The End is Nigh, on these main screens anyway, is, um, is making sure that I get every tumor along the way. Um, but like, the cartridges I'm terrible at. I haven't, I don't think I've gotten anything out of any of them. And most of the mega tumors I've I've missed because I wasn't keeping my eyes peeled, but I've seen a bunch. Oh my god, this sucks. All right, I'm gonna go quiet for a bit. I need to just like stare at this for a while. Getting there.
Good. <laughs> okay, now I can talk again. It's amazing how much better I do when I don't have to focus on talking. <sighs> but yeah, I think I've got maybe like... I think I've got maybe... 50 to 60% of the Mega Tumors. Like, I'm pretty much missing every second one as I go, and then I just can't be bothered going back for it. Alright, let's continue! How oh, good! I figured this would be too easy. Oh god, they're targeted. Ugh. <laughs> God damn it, dude. This is great. Like, at least you can sort of manipulate it, though. I guess. Remember to jump there. Fuck you. So distracting. I really wish I got a closer look at the bottom area. I get your movement in certain parts. Wow. Yeah, probably. Except that's Potlock. Wow likes giving credits to Potlock. How are you doing, by the way, Wow? Oh my god. That is so mean. I don't like backtracking, but this game is definitely forcing it. Oh, I jump. Okay. Hey, Camille. How's it going, dude? Is this an ongoing issue? I feel like I've missed something. Actually, I think I recall you saying something on Tuesday, uh, but I can't remember what specifically, I'm sorry. I get really caught up with this game. It's kind of frustrating, actually. Ah! That was my chance to go! Yes, Guy Queen, why wouldn't it be? Damn it. <laughs> oh 
Oh, a package went missing. Fuck. That shit is the worst, man. Damn it, I hate your parents. The thing is, with that gap at the bottom, I don't know which one to fall into. Do you have insurance on the package? Potluck will be a thing? For what? So who haven't you heard from? UPS or, um, or Oc Oculus? Fuck! Actually, Conkles, would you mind doing exclamation potluck and then the word potluck straight after? I want to know how many credits potluck has. I've got to stop dying now. I'm too busy looking at the bullets that I'm not seeing where I'm falling. Okay. Oh, that's right, we smashed Potluck the other day. I remember that. I've got to stop dying now. Why would you do that? Conkles, come on, dude. Stop that. You better congrats Potluck three times. Fucking... Fight you, Conkles. Those are the people's credits. I was so close. God damn, this is hard. Uh, sure, Sky Queen. I don't actually watch TV. <laughs> It's a radio show? Well then maybe it doesn't air here, but I also don't listen to radio. Really anime night? But you're only hearing like the first couple of, si uh, couple of notes. Damn it! It's not a new command, it's the command we've always used. Like, maybe you just haven't been around for it, but it's always been there. That's how we give out credits, uh, when potluck smashes. You do potluck, potluck to see potluck's balance, and then you potluck someone else to give the balance to them. I listen with my ears? Okay. Damn. 
Do me the radio. Oh God. Getting through that gap, man, is so annoying. Yeah, I know you ban Hammered Potluck. But that's because I told you to. That's not, like, that's not actually the way to do it. Web radio? Uh, that also implies I'm on the web. Fun fact, I'm not. I I actually, like, most of my music that I listen to is actually just the Game Stomp stream playlist. Dude. Like, sometimes I change it up, but for the most part, it's just that music. Because... I'm usually working. I don't want to listen to new music, because then it will break my focus. The only time I really hear new music is when I go looking for it. Mm. I'm kind of wondering if it's worth waiting in a certain spot to get this guy set up a different way. What is new music? Not listening to Australian radio. <laughs> well, actually, it depends on the station. But for the most part, Australian radio just plays like the same four songs. I mean, I guess there's like, there's services like Spotify or, I mean, they used to be Pandora until they got rid of it at the end of July, uh, here in Australia. Otherwise, SoundCloud has like a shuffle feature, I guess. Alright, I think I might try and focus on this again. I'm expecting him to bonk off the ceiling, but he never does when I want him to. And so he keeps hitting that top spike instead of falling below it. SoundCloud closing down? Dang. First I've heard of it. How are you, by the way, Captain's Butterfly? Thank you for the follow, by the way. Oof. I didn't even need to jump. I don't know why I did. What is with this square shooting squares? gun way too early. Like this whole section here, right, it preys on on you being too twitchy for your own good. Like all you want to do is just get away from everything. And so you're trying to get to the bottom as fast as you can. But in doing so, like you make you make sudden early movements 
that kill you before you get to your destination. And it's like that the whole way down. Ugh. Oh, thank you, man. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get into a habit of not getting super mad at this game. Because, you know, it's, it's good to have a thicker skin, especially when you're dying as frequently as I am. Oh, God. Should have double jumped. Yet, yeah, huh? <laughs> okay. I really hope it doesn't appear again. No, that's even worse. Damn it. Uh, that's even worse. Okay, at least now we know what's going to appear. Cool. I guess I'd prefer that over the targeted bullets, actually. What if someone made a special fan game? Um, well, there's people that have said they would. Um, but, I don't know. I'm not one of those people that really, like thinks anything of it or really wants that sort of thing. Like, th think, think about it. Think about my, person uh, my personality in general. When is the last time you've really seen me say something, like, overwhelmingly positive about anything I've played? Even stuff I like. Like, now, now imagine you created that. Like, could you really, wow, could you really deal with me being that critical of your work? Because that's unfortunately the sort of person I am. And I don't like being in that situation where like someone makes me something and then I'm like... Ah. Like, it puts me in an awkward situation. Like I'm certainly appreciative of the gesture and all of that stuff, but then it's like... Oh man, what if it's actually crap and I have to drag myself through it? I don't wanna... I don't wanna do that. I'm one of the most literal people. I know. Like it's kind of ooh, damn it. it's kind of funny in um in like day to day life. A lot of people will say that I'm a pessimist, but usually I just you know argue back saying I'm a realist. And like now I sound really like up myself when I'm saying this, but it's like you know. I kind of see things for what they are, not for what they, you know, not for the worst they could be, and not for what they could be, but just for what they are. Like, if someone's being a douchebag, you know, I form an opinion of them. I don't think that, like, maybe they can offer more, and I don't think that, like, they're the worst person alive. I just take what they've done, and I go, okay, I'll remember that, and then I continue. And then as soon as they meet my expectations again, my brain rewards itself, I think I'm vastly superior than everyone, and the whole thing just keeps going until eventually you're just a smug asshole like I am now. But a realist nonetheless. Dude, I jump. Fuck you. Honestly, though, I'm I'm more critical about um, I'm more critical about people that like earn money for their creations. Like if they've done something that's you know designed badly in my eyes, I would definitely point it out. Like the Crash Bandicoot remakes. Don't get me wrong, they're fun, and I'm enjoying playing them. But there's there's bits about them that I'm just like, fuck, man. Like, why did you think to do that? Controls aren't poorly made. The game is actually very well made. It stays very true to the originals from what I've seen of people play. Uh, hold that thought. Now. 
I'm Mark Preston, welcome back to the Boo Crew for month number six. Enjoy the new Boo Crew dance and your star badge. <laughs> Much appreciated. And uh, how are you doing, man? Thank you so much for the continued support. But no, the controls are fine. Like, I've beaten Crash 1 and 2 on dance pads already. The controls are perfectly fine. People misinterpret controls with mechanics. The game controls fine. Everything Crash... Uh, everything you do, Crash does. And that's just how it goes. The mechanics, on the other hand, Crash's pill-shaped hitbox that makes him slip off um, the side of crates, um, his nerfed jump, things like that, you know, with the existing level designs, make it really hard to play. I didn't notice it as much because I didn't really, like, play the originals, but, but for everyone that was used to the original controls, they hated it. And there you go, I've like, I've really tripped over myself by saying used to the original controls, but what I mean is the mechanics. The controls are perfectly fine. Okay. The game crashes when you talk to skeletons? Wait, really? Because you're supposed to be able to. I guess work on it, Conkles. Ah, oh, crap. Really? Ah, I can't believe it didn't get up there. You just unsubbed from a bunch of people but couldn't give up my notes? Well, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. But you should also focus on putting yourself first. Like, if you need that extra five dollars, you do it, man. I'm completely understanding. Just remember, your livelihood is a lot more important than some emotes. Especially because, in my channel at least, all of the emotes are free and you can continue to use them as much as you want. But I do appreciate the support nonetheless. Uh, the health bar is for people that contribute bits. Ah, uh, there you go, one deer said it already. Exclamation bit boss tells you pretty much how it works. You drop a bit, it deals a damage. If you kill the boss, you become the new one. That, hmm, after that shoot, like that left shoot, that, that jump where there's like a needle on the ceiling, that gets me every time. And as soon as it doesn't, I get through fine. Ah. That walk noise is from Mega Man 2, my dude. It's when the blocks appear. It's used in like pretty much every fan game. Wow, shouldn't have done that. Mega Man 2 is not so bad. Oh, the warp thing at the bottom. Now I'm trying to remember what it is. It's not V6, is it? Is it How many calories do I burn? Uh, not many, because I'm mostly just standing around. Like, think of this as more like lifting weights than actual cardio. Um, so I don't burn much energy doing this. 
Good workout for my arms, though. It is V6? Oh, good. Yeah, that game's not too bad. I got all the trinkets on dance pads. Winky face. Fuck off. That quote unquote game. That was a good game. It's a good against V6. What have people got against like just shitting on something they either find hard or just don't like? Like, I don't like Crypt of the Necrodancer, but I don't shit all over it. I definitely don't say it's a bad game. Or the speedrun community. So I mean, the speedrunners seem pretty chill, aside from like being in disagreement about stuff. Because if it's a fandom, then it's like I said pretty much at the start of the stream. Uh, fandoms of anything ruin everything. There's no exceptions. Literally ruined your life. Come on. I just want to get to the bottom again so I can keep trying this part on the left. <sighs> yeah, but that happened due to that fandom, but I'm assuming that your actions had something to do with that too. behind the fandom for your own actions as well. Freaking labels, man. Just remember, labels are convenient. Labels are a way to avoid responsibility. Because, I mean, you know... <laughs> Why say that? Why say that this dude in particular is a racist douchebag? Uh, is a racist, racist douchebag? Why say that when you can just be like, fucking white people, man. Fucking white people. I swear. Nah, man. Nah, man, what we've got going here isn't a fandom. Like, if I, if I see anyone unironically trying to claim that they are a more dedicated quote-unquote fan uh, to me than someone else, like, that would be the alarm bell that basically just says, hey, can you maybe not? Because, like, that goes against, that goes completely against, like, my philosophy of what I want with a fan base. Like, I want people to be free thinkers that aren't obsessed over things. Oh my god, I've got to stop doing that. Ugh. Racist and douchebags are also labels. 
Well, yeah, but they're descriptive. Like, those are labels to do with someone's actions, not to do with what they are. Like, a white person isn't an act. You know what I mean? Now see, there you go, you're saying they made you. No one made you do anything. What were they gonna do, call the police because you didn't join their raid? Like, at least you're still in school, so you can kind of, like, learn from that shit. In the real life, in the real world, it doesn't really work quite that well. Like, that's the sort of thing that would, like, you know, give you a stern talking to with your, with your employer because they want to protect their company image, uh, which would then probably make it harder for you to apply for more jobs, etc. Like, if it happens in school, at least get the lesson out of the way, but the important thing is to learn from it, and learn... Yeah, and, and learn that peer pressure is still partially your responsibility. I'm not saying that, like, you know... Sorry, let, let me start that again. I'm not trying to invalidate what you're saying. Like... Like, I get that that would have been a very, like, frustrating time and all of that stuff. But I'm saying that, like, you know, a, a lot of the reason why it happened is because of your actions. Like... I don't know. A at the end of the day, you, you won't be able to please everyone, but... You shouldn't aim to please the people that are causing more problems for you, you know what I mean? Alright, let's fuck this shit up. Oh god, that goes so fast. It's so hard to get in there. I moved too soon for that. the V6 community, or oh, sorry, it's not the V6 fandom that's to blame for that. Like with anything, whether it being like, you know, racist or just generally hating toward other people, it's the people. Like I'm pretty sure the, the original developers of the game and the original people that made the forum and the communities were not thinking, yeah! Let's go read someone's Instagram page. Do, do, do. 
ね。left of the stream though, so I think we can get through. Unfortunately, there is no patience, you just have to fucking go. It's awful. Damn it. Like, as soon as you start, you have to book it. At least you can see, like, you know, now I've kind of got the movement for this down. Like, I wait here until that one comes across. I short hop here, short hop here, jump over that. So long as I don't jump too early, and then I can just drop the rest of the way. Uh, I fucked up the cycle now. Wing it! Woo. Okay. Oh my god, that jump is so hard. I think once I get up to that part, I should be able to do it though. See, Taney. I, trust me, I don't expect anything. But um, I, uh, I, I will never discourage someone from working on a project. Because working on a project is probably one of the most fulfilling things that a person can do. Like, it doesn't matter how much money you have or how much success you have. If you're fucking bored and you're not stimulating your brain, then, uh, you know, you're not really living, are you? Oh god, that was lucky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I fall down this? Oh wow, you sneaky asshole. <sighs> wow. He made it right that you'd be panicking through all of that and you would hold left as soon as you went through that portal, so then you would just fall down. What a douchey thing to do, Stonk. But Stonk nonetheless. God damn it, dude. I'm happy I survived that, but barely. All right, so now we have to navigate through all of this horseshit, right? Hit that button at the top, navigate back through, and then go through the right to get up to the top. All right, let's do it. We got, we got like 15 minutes. We can do it. Uh, oh, I see. Don't need to go left again, gotcha. Yeah. Those red ones are like invisible to me now. Okay, I need some gate, I'm gonna onto that. 
Good. And then we're going out and around. Good. <laughs> At least we got this screen back. That'd be nice. Oh lordy. Lordy lordy. I'll tell you what though, the length of these screens, like the screens are obviously getting a lot longer to, to complete. Yeah. Okay, so I can walk through that and drop straight to the bottom. I don't want to do that though, because then I can't get back up. If that's misleading. I want to drop. Okay, this one. Mm, Alright, I see. I see. There we go. I was thinking about going on the, um, the, the ledge just above me, but then that gate, it didn't look very fun to try and jump through. So, I chose this part. Good. We are through. Next part. Kittles, how's it man? Okay, so what do we do here? We have to go all the way down to there. Alright. Ooh, that's a hard jump. Damn it. Gotta do the left side again. So we can practice that jump once. Thanks, Doc. Okay. There it goes. That's cool, Anime Night. You have a good one, dude. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you had fun. Okay. That side's not actually too bad. Oh, getting down there, though. Jesus. I'm not good at gauging, like... Downward movement. Yeah, okay. I can't get all the way up there. Dang. <laughs> no. Oh my god, that one red spike. Is actually, that part of the screen is actually really easy. Good. Mm, good. <laughs> I won't learn what the jumps do until I attempt them once. That's the unfortunate thing. Like sometimes I can just wing it, but a lot of the time it's going to result in me doing a first time death. I don't like this. Good. 
See, I don't like that. I don't do. Uh, like, I can't really put it into words, but it's basically because I wouldn't be able to time it properly. I don't know whether to stop myself so that I can go up into the gap before landing on the right hand side, or if I should just hold right because I'm definitely going to bump the ceiling. Good heckin' god. What image is that, Tainy? Do that. Do do. Do do. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, fair enough. What's that font called again? It's like Pro Laminar or something? It's got a different one. Pro Laminar 2, I think it's called. Oh, but you, you made the. But you made the, the text, right? How'd you make the text if you didn't know what the font is? Alright. Um. Do bang. Do Oh, you made it ages ago, I see. Well then, um, yeah, the font I'm pretty sure is Pro Lamina 2. You can find it on Dafont. This left side is easy, but the right side more than makes up for its difficulty. Or lack thereof. It is? Alright, cool. At least I remember my fonts. As I should, considering I use it so freaking much. Because he can be. You know what? I can't dispute that answer. Oh my god, gates, please. Oops. I use free fonts. Oh my god. Hey Knuckle, how are you doing? I just realized you've made it to the last 10 minutes of the stream. Uh, hang on, we got some buzzing. I just want to fix this real quick. Okay, cool. I finally know the source of the buzzing, which is great. But all the same, I hope you're doing well. It's a shame my streams are short, but full-time job and all that, kind of have to. Yeah, there was. Like, I'm getting better at masking it, but there was definitely a, a ringing sound. Ah. Mike didn't pick it up. That's a first. He usually does. Like, I remember one day it got so bad I could hear it from the other side of the house. It's crazy. the first time I bumped there. It's kind of funny like the um, 
the small differences that have like happened to this stream over time. Because like the main source of the ringing beforehand used to be the old CRT monitor. Um, and so I got rid of that, and so now there's no ringing in the background, like at all. The only thing you hear now is just like, you know, a gentle hum of the fans, but only when there's no music playing. But the fans are also there intentionally to mask any other, like, smaller sounds. Like, they muffle the sound of the bird, um, you know, anything else that might be happening around. So the, the fan has its purpose as well. Uh, the font used for that is, um, it's called Suplex Metri, I'm pretty sure. I don't actually know how to pronounce it properly, but if you just type Suplex and then the word Metri, um, like M-E-T-R-Y, you should find it on the font. Uh, that feel when you forget how to do jumps. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a good night. Okay. Progress. Obviously, since I use it for everything. <laughs> but it's nice to find a font that's like really round and stuff, but is also readable. But I mean, you can't really go wrong with comic fonts. They're designed to be readable, but also like, you know, have a bit of personality to them. By the way, uh, we've got about three minutes left of the stream, um, so, you know, just a heads up, we're probably not getting through the screen today, <laughs> but it happens. Can't do much about it. <sighs> Ooh, that was too close. Really? I went too far? Things that happen far too often in this stream, I go too far. Hey Kraling, how's it going dude? You've made it to the last minute of the stream. Enjoy it. Mighty chat. We were just having, well, earlier anyway, we were having a nice discussion about fandoms and how they ruin everything. And I agree with everything I said. Yep. Alright, since we've hit the time up point of the stream, uh, I'm gonna try and get to the right hand side again. And then once I get in there, that's when we'll call it. 
Easy Asian. How are you today, dude? There may be one more after this one. I hate that. I never know if I'm gonna bonk or not. It's so frustrating. Freaking much. Do 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 thank you for the follow, dude. Much appreciated. <laughs> and then I died of that one. Dying to these left ones though always feels so bad because they're not hard. I'm just getting bad because I've been playing for two hours. Okay. <laughs> All right, one more. We we'll get to the right one more time. Like that jump at the bottom right is so shitty. I can't gauge it properly. Dude, come on. Don't make this harder than it already is. Like how in the One more time, keep hype. I was just reading chat. Star Crunching, welcome back to the boot crew. Four months number four. Much appreciated, dude. Ah, uh, before Tanya's message disappears. Oh, it's just regular chilling and shitposting. Yeah, man, that's what we do here. <laughs> but uh, Star Crunching, thank you so much for your continued support. Um, and keep enjoying the emotes and, and commands, my dude. Thank you so much. Uh, you've actually just made it to the end of the stream, though. I'm doing one more attempt where I get to the bottom right, and then after that, I'm calling it for today. But uh, I appreciate it nonetheless. And, uh, I, hope you're, I hope you're doing well. And thank you, my homeboys, for the, for the uh, hype. Um, there we go. Oh, let me shoot that. Fucking Nels emotes, dude. Is that a 10 or a 24.99 one? Regardless, the support. Mm. It's radiating. Alright, here we go, guys. This is the last one. I hate that game. Alright, <laughs> I think that's as good of a time as any to leave it. Because holy heck. 10? Okay, fair enough. I have to look at what his 2499 one is. Amazing emotes nonetheless. <sighs> You've noticed I host many streams while I'm offline. Is that still me? Uh, no, Twitch has a feature called auto host. And so I can select a group of people. Uh, that I want to um, to show off who might be streaming while I'm offline. <clears throat> and so based on the order in which I've listed them, and if they're streaming at the right time and no one else is, they will get the hosting spot on my channel. So every now and then when you come in, it, I might be hosting someone else, but that's because I've handpicked them. Um, but yeah, anyway, 
Uh, I know that we're all very chill tonight, so, um, you know, usually when that happens it means raids are very small, but I would like to send some smiley faces to another stream if you'd like to join me. Uh, so please, get your, uh, get your colons and square brackets ready because we are going to smile at someone tonight. Um, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Keep an eye on chat.